What's going on guys? Chris here with Tactical Outdoorsman. Today we're going to be reviewing a laser. Uh, it's the Laser Speed LSFL5. All right, uh, this laser is going to be a visible and infrared laser with an infrared illuminator and a LED flashlight. Uh, it's going to have a high and a low power mode. Uh, so we're going to do a tabletop review of this first because it just came in today. I didn't really get into the package yet, but we will. Uh, and then we'll do a field test of it. So I think I'll do the tabletop review video now. And then uh, set up a play date with a couple of the boys. Um, and I'll compare this um, laser speed laser to whatever they have. Whether they're uh, D-balls or PEX, civilian or full power or whatever they bring out. Alright. Um, also, uh, I just opened up a... FFL and an SOT here in Chesterfield, Virginia. Be sure to go check out the page on Instagram and on Facebook and to check out the website. Uh, it is uh, www.c4armory.com. Uh, if you guys pick something up from there, I'd appreciate it. Uh, if you give us a like and a follow on Instagram and Facebook, that'll also be cool. Uh, so that is it. Uh, I'm going to go take this bad boy, uh, bring it over to the tabletop, and we're going to do a little uh, review uh, of what the functions and features are. And then I'll get that on the range for you. All right? So we will be right back. All right. So here we have a laser speed laser. Um, I just got this today. I uh, haven't quite gotten into this yet. So let's do a quick unboxing video. We're going to jump into this, uh, see what they have in here, and just take a look at some of the features of the laser. And then I'll have a, another video or maybe another part of this video where I'll get it out in the field and show you some comparisons on things like uh, full power PEC and maybe a D-ball. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. So we got the laser. Check the other compartment. Alright, looks like we have a lens pen. Looks like a... Uh, pressure switch. Uh, some directions. We'll read those in a second. Uh, looks like we have an Allen key, two Allen keys, and a washer. And just a cleaning cloth. Okay. I think that's all that's in here. And it just comes in this little, uh, little pouch. Alright. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at this thing. So, uh, it's got a nice uh, metal housing. The finish looks pretty good on it. Uh, it's labeled with the laser speed LF FL, uh, FL5 on here. And this is the full powered laser and also has a, a visible flashlight on it. So, let's just pop these lens covers off. So, you got two lens covers. Uh, on this side, uh, you have your visible and infrared laser and your uh, infrared illuminator. And on the other side, obviously, your LED flashlight. Uh, you got a couple of caps here. It looks uh, like this one has a compression fit into the, into the little holes on the laser side here. Um, I'll probably just use this for storage. Uh, otherwise, when I'm running it, I'm going to take these things off. Um, and this one, obviously, for the flashlight. Um, you have a battery indicator on here. So this takes a 18650 battery, one of them. Uh, I don't have any on hand right now. I'm going to have to order one to use this, but to function test it, uh, I'm going to use a couple of CR123 batteries, uh, but I don't recommend uh, keeping those in there or using them to, to run the laser. <clears throat> okay, uh, you have your low, off, and high switch, uh, the button. I'm sorry, the switch has a little bit of play. I don't know if you could see that on camera. Uh, but other than that play, you still have to apply a good amount of force to actually flip it into the direction that you want. So uh, there's a little screw there. I'll try to tighten that. Uh, and then down over here on the high power setting, you have a, uh, a little screw there that blocks you from getting into the high power section, which I'll take out when I get out to the range. Uh, you have your fire button. Okay, feels good. It's got a nice... Nice little clicky click to it. Uh, you have your uh, wind, uh, windage and elevation adjustments here. Uh, looks like they're pretty big. You can adjust these with a uh, case from uh, either a rifle or handgun or a screwdriver or something like that. Okay, uh, you have your uh, mode dial here. 
Uh, so you have the F, V, F, V, I, L, and C. Uh, the F, V is going to be your visible laser and your flashlight. Uh, F is going to be your flashlight. V is going to be your visible laser. I is going to be your um, illuminator. L is going to be your um, infrared laser. And then the C is going to be your infrared laser and illuminator. Okay, and then to toggle from low to high would be down here, low, uh, low, off, and high. Okay, alrighty. Uh, now on the back of the laser, uh, you have your battery compartment. Um, so these are uh, dummy corded onto here with some uh, metal wire. It looks like they're on here with a little, a little crimp on the back. Okay, this here is going to be your pressure switch port. Okay, you have uh, you have three uh, male prongs on this side. Obviously, this one's going to be three female on this side. If it goes into focus. Okay, so we'll get that popped in, and you could screw this down to prevent this from popping out when you're shooting. Uh, this dial over here, uh, if you could see, it's got a, a fat down to a skinny uh, setting here with the white bar. That's just going to be your infrared illuminator. Uh, so to go from a wide to a more narrow beam on that. Okay. Let's take a look at the directions. They are in English, so that's good. This is uh, obviously uh, from China. But let's take a look at the at the direction manual here. So this has uh, just the main parts of the laser. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick this up or not. Uh, plus, I'm shaking this thing a lot. Give me one second. Okay. So you have all the laser parts here. Uh, and then down below, you have all the information on the on the power of the lasers and everything. And on the bottom, uh, looks like a checklist of everything that was in the box. Uh, on the back side of this, uh, it just has some mounting instructions to get this onto the pick rail. Uh, information about what these dials mean, what the letters mean. Okay, and then just your laser warnings. So nothing crazy on there. If you want to read that, you could pause the video. And if it's in focus, maybe you could read it. That side and that side. All right, um, enough directions. I'm a man, I don't need directions. All righty, check out the lens pen. Looks like any other lens pen. A little brush, cool. Uh, one thing I'm not sure what it's for is this little washer here. Uh, I'm sure it's in the directions somewhere, I'll read it. Um, it looks like this washer's got a little, a little tab on it, right? Right there, I don't know if you, if you can see that. So, not sure where that goes. Um, this comes with the Allen keys to mount it on the pick rail. This is the Allen key to remove the screw uh, for the um, high for the high settings on here. I don't know if you can see the blue screw there. Uh, I'm gonna throw a couple of uh, CR123 batteries in here. This is supposed to get an 18650 battery, um, so I'm just going to throw the CR123s in here just to function test this. I'm not going to leave these in. Uh, when I do run it, I'm actually going to order the, the appropriate battery. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to have any explosion or overheating issues by using the incorrect batteries. So we're just going to function test with these. Doing it all for the science. Ah, all right. Get in there. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so we're gonna go to the low power. We're on the flashlight and visible laser setting. So we'll take this off. Uh, we'll give that a little flash. Okay. So this works good. Uh, we'll see what that looks like on the table here. Okay. Pretty bright, bright. I don't know if you can see the laser. The laser is right there on my finger. OK, 
Okay. Uh, there's an LED light in the back here. Lighting up green, indicating that this bad boy is on. Uh, let's flip over to just the flashlight. So that's just the flashlight. Just the visible laser. Okay. Pretty bright. Uh, infrared. Okay. Uh, obviously you can't see it, but I was just looking at the LED back here. So when you go to infrared, uh, it changes the LED back here to blue. And then... These things look like LED lights on here, but I guess they're not, because they're not lighting up. So that's what I wanted to look for. Um, I'm just going to shut this off for a second. I am going to take out this high power screw, so we can see what the high power... If there's a difference between the low and high power visible laser. So we'll set that aside. Turn that on. And go back to our visible laser. Hit that. Oh, sorry, that's flashlight. Visible laser, okay. That is the low power visible. And that is high power visible. Looks like there's some blooming around here. So let's see if there's a difference. High power, low power. Yeah, it's definitely a difference. Okay, so we'll shut that off. Flashlight. Oh, yeah, there's a high and low power flashlight too. Alright, that's your low power flashlight. That's your high power flashlight. Yep, definitely a difference there as well. Alright, so pretty cool. Um, once I get the night vision out and I get this mounted on a rifle, I'm going to do a comparison. I want to see what it's like against a regular civilian power D ball and a full power peck. And I just want to see what these buttons do. So there's three buttons on this power switch. Uh, looks like the one closest to the lead is flashlight. Uh, looks like they all activate the flashlight when you're on the flashlight setting. Um, if you're on flashlight and visible laser, the one closest to the lead will activate the laser and the light. So will the second one, and so will the third one. So it looks like there's no difference between the three different fires, uh, three different fire buttons on here for visible, uh, at least. So infrared, I'll test that once I get this under night vision. So I'll get another video out for that. Uh, let me get these batteries out of here so I don't cause any problems. And uh, I'm going to go order myself an 18650 battery, set up a range date, and get out there and test this under night vision. So we'll get that underway, and I'll see you guys shortly.